We're gonna be melting some copper today. I've got some old bars and stuff that I'm just gonna melt down, as well as a huge chunk of copper that one of my subscribers gave me. Got some pours I've gotta do for the skeleton two shooters and some skeleton heads. And I wanna make another hand of the king or two copper pours as well. And I'll try to show some of that process, but let's get this fired up and melt and pour some copper.
So definitely not my best pours. Um, I added borax to the last set of pours and they did do much better with the borax. I must have had maybe some leftover brass or something in the crucible that didn't allow me to pour smooth. Uh, there's a lot of bubbles and things in it like there was different metals and maybe I should have done a better job of scraping out the crucible before I added the copper, but it is what it is. Either way, we'll have to see how they come out. They look like copper looks after you pour right now, burnt and uh, discolored. But once they get tumbled in my tumbler, they should brighten up, freshen up, and look a lot nicer. What I'm gonna do first is take the wire brush and brush them again to get most of that, like, that soot off them. And I'll bring it back in after I've done that, and then we'll tumble them and see the final result as well. All right, so here's a quick look at all the pieces. After a wire brush and just a little uh, hot water over them just to get in, rid of any of the sand that was actually in the hand of the king pours. But I scrapped two of the double shooter skeletons. I have looked at my mold because I noticed they had something going on here and my mold is finally dead. Those molds should only last, those graphite molds, about 50 pours or so and I've probably done over a hundred in that mold so I'm surprised it lasted that long I'll have to get a new skeleton double shooter mold but what are you gonna do these are the three that I thought were worth keeping I think the skeleton came out pretty good this one does have an issue I think this was my first pour and maybe we got an air pocket in there or something when it uh, wasn't a steady hand it was really full but I'm gonna keep it because I think it has some character this was the leftover copper that I had, and I knew I probably didn't have enough for another skeleton. The way it was pouring, it was starting to solidify, so I just wanted to get whatever was left in the crucible into a little tiny copper bar. And then the Hand of the Kings, you know what? They didn't come out too bad. They still need to be tumbled. The backs don't look good. My worst copper backs that I've seen, I don't, uh, I don't know what happened there, but either way, I think possibly I didn't heat the sand up enough. Maybe there was some air pockets in there, but they didn't come out bad. They didn't come out bad. They look pretty good. All of this now needs to be tumbled. I'll see you guys after the tumbles. Well, here you have them all tumbled up. You know what? They didn't come out too bad. I only left the hand of the kings in there for probably 35 minutes. Only 35 minutes on these. I might re-tumble them a little bit longer to see if they can get even more clean, which they will. Uh, the bar came out just fine. I'll have to weigh all these up. But we'll get those stamped up once I get them weighed up. And then we've got four of the skeleton heads. They all came out fine. I'm happy with them overall. Yeah, they can always be a better pour, especially on this one right here. A little bit of a tricky pour there. But overall, that gives them character. This copper skull came out probably the best. And again, the mold's definitely showing its age. But I'm happy with them because each one is unique in its own way. This was a short pour. You'll probably remember that clip, but I thought I had poured enough, but I couldn't see because the mold was hidden by the crucible. And I realized after I was pouring that I left a little notch on the back. Either way, we're done. I am beat. And uh, maybe tomorrow I'll get these stamped up. But for now, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me prep the molds and pour the hand of the kings as well as the rest of this copper. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone... Happy hunting, happy stacking, happy pouring, and thanks for watching.